How about a ride, mister? Here's your look at the Playmobil Back to the Future Marty's pickup truck. In 1985, Marty takes a seat in his brand new pickup truck, along with his girlfriend Jennifer Parker, and drives through the streets of Hill Valley. But in the future, Marty's arch nemesis Bip Tannen is in on the action and leaves no stone unturned to get one over on Marty. The new play set once again brings Playmobil fans back to the future. The set includes Marty McFly, Jennifer Parker, and Biff Tannen, as well as a pickup truck with space for two figures and a collector's postcard for fans. Now, seeing as we've already had a look at a Playmobil Back to the Future set earlier on this channel, that being the Back to the Future DeLorean, we're going to bypass the idea of measuring off these figures, because I'm sure by now everybody knows how tall a Playmobil figure is. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to beeline it over to the instructions, the postcard, a postcard, a postcard, and the accessories that come in clear with the figures. You may notice also from the time that we looked at the DeLorean, there's a lot less accessories that come packed with a pickup truck release. Now, to be fair, though, this set also does give you three Playmobil figures instead of just the Doc Brown and the Marty McFly that we got earlier, though technically that other set also came included with Einstein, but I wouldn't really consider that a Playmobil figure. So let's have a look, though, at the instructions. We'll also look at the postcard that comes included with the set as well. I don't recall this coming included with the DeLorean, but somehow packed with a pickup truck, you get yourself a Playmobil postcard replicating the poster artwork of Back to the Future Marty McFly exiting out the flaming DeLorean, checking his wristwatch. I'd be probably checking more so the fire that's coming out from the bottom of the vehicle, but what do I know? The idea, though, is you're supposed to be able to send this. There is, of course, a section on the top where you apply a stamp, a section down below where you can attach the address of where this is going to be going to, and you can send this to a friend of yours, Somebody that also digs back to the future as much as you do, doesn't even know that Playmobil is making sets. Shame on your friend for not knowing that Playmobil makes back to the future sets, but you can send this their way and sort of just give them a friendly reminder. Hey, yeah, Playmobil makes these. So that's nice. You get these. I mean, I'm not probably going to use this for anything, but it's just nice to see that they include it. But what you will certainly want to use, and I certainly did use for putting this set together, is an instruction booklet. The instruction booklet is pretty slim. Very little in the way of instructions required here. On the back, advertise the other sets. We've already looked at the Back to the Future DeLorean. Feel free to check out that review if you like. There is the pickup truck that Playmobil has already taken the time of checking off. Thank you, Playmobil. Thank you for telling me which one I've actually picked up. This set right here will be coming up in an upcoming review. The 1955 two-pack of Doc Brown and Marty McFly. A review of that will follow. I'm still trying to track this one down. Every effort to look for this set online has turned up nothing. Zero. Let's see if I can try to track that down. Of course, that's the one from the future with future Biff Tan and future Marty McFly and future Doc Brown. Very cool. It seems like they also include a Mr. Fusion. So I'm guessing if you already have the original DeLorean, which is this one right here, you probably could just use the Mr. Fusion on the back of it. So that's kind of fun, the fact that they include that. Instructions, like I said, are pretty slim. I mean, even if you, well, there's the advertisement on the front for the Lauren, but you go then to the next page. The pickup truck is pretty much already assembled. Stickers are about the only thing that really need to be applied. Then you have to apply the tires, which really involves the most amount of work, putting the two halves together, making a tire. And then the last step is just putting on the roll bar with the lights on the back. And then, of course, it shows you how to put the accessories onto the figures. They're basically just wristwatches, and you get a whole lot of them. So that's it. That's all you get. Okay, so we'll move those to the side. When we start with first looking at the figures, then we'll look at the pickup truck. We'll start maybe first with Jennifer. Jennifer here from Back to the Future 1, or I guess technically at the beginning of Back to the Future 2 as well. It would be a question to pose to you guys whether you would consider this to be the original Back to the Future 1 Claudia Wells actress that played Jennifer or the follow-up Elizabeth Shue that played Jennifer. In fact, let me know down below which Jennifer you prefer. Even though I am such a huge fan of Elizabeth Shue, a bit of a crush on Elizabeth Shue growing up, I always considered Jennifer to be the original, the OG, Claudia Wells. I just always felt she was a better Jennifer, although Elizabeth Shue's Jennifer was a lot funnier. Uh, certainly, as you can see, it's a standard minifigure, standard Playmobil figure. This one does have 
you can see their Raggedy Ann little uh, patches of rouge, blush, I guess you would consider that on her face. And then she's got the vest, which kind of actually looks like a retail vest, like she'd be working at Costco or something like that. It does have some decent detailing on the vest itself. Nice white top, flower printed pants, and then she does have the wristwatch. If you lose this wristwatch, by the way, they throw in several of these. You get actually three different wristwatches. You could put them on like she's selling watches on the side. You just put them, I mean, you get three of them. So, you know what, let's just, let's just put the third one on there as well. Anybody want to watch? Anybody want to watch? This one doesn't seem to want to stay on as well. Maybe it's too far up the arm. It may be too far up the arm. But she gets a couple of them. That's basically the point I was trying to make. Articulation on Jennifer would be the same as all the other figures, although she's a little bit more limited because she's got longer hair. Head rotates back and forth. Um, arms rotate all the way around. You can rotate the hands. And then for the legs, minus the sound effect, of course, they basically have a sitting feature, which when you move one leg, basically the legs are connected together. So there's Jennifer. Jennifer also comes in clue with a purse. The purse just attaches. There's a little handle on the bottom of end, end of it, and that just attaches onto her hand. It's probably best to do it by the hand first and then just drape the rest of it onto her shoulder. And there is Jennifer. Let's move on to Biff Tannen now. This is the more humbled 1985 Biff Tannen. Not to be confused with a power-hungry alternate reality 80s Biff Tannen who bared a resemblance to the late, not late, that he's passed away, but the former president, Donald Trump. I get still the vibe of the Donald Trump hairstyle here on humbled Biff Tannen. Of course, he does have his jogging outfit on there. Flaps on the back. He does come included uh, with a couple of things. Comes included with a squeegee. A chamois, I guess, a chamois. You can clip that onto his hand. Not a squeegee, a, a chamois, a chamois. And then the other thing that you could put into his hand, he comes with a little spray bottle. So word I was going to drop it. Spray bottle right there. And that just clips onto his other hand like that. So you can actually have him cleaning the car. Although when you put the figure next to the car, you really notice right away that even though they fit inside the pickup truck, they're really not the proper proper scale to the size of the pickup truck. Like, I don't know how Biff should probably be up, up here spraying and cleaning the car, not down by the tires. I don't even know how he's going to be possibly be able to clean the top of it. But that is Biff Tannen. Then, of course, we can move on to Marty McFly here. And Marty McFly, this is him with, of course, his plaid shirt on. For comparisons, we can bring in the Marty McFly that we got included with the DeLorean. The faces are the same. The pants are the same. The shoes are the same. What is different, however, is this one did have the jean jacket and the life preserver jacket with, his, with basically this Marty McFly just being stripped down from that, wearing just the shirt alone. His only real accessory is the wristwatch. We can, you can see it's already attached to his hand here. Uh, articulation on the Marty would be the exact same. Arms rotate all the way around, hands, well, legs. So standard articulation. And just one, actually one other comparison. Here he is next to Doc Brown. We already looked at Doc Brown before as well. And actually, you know what? I have him over here too, reaching off to the other side. That's a bit of a strange thing. I hear he's next to Einstein. So there you go. Then we can move, of course, over to the pickup truck. And by doing that, I'm going to move over these little figures of the characters. Uh, while I'm freeing up a little bit of space, I'll move the pickup truck over because I want to bring in the comparisons of this one and the DeLorean that we looked at earlier. Yes, the DeLorean's back tire is still broken. How did it break? Feel free to check out my review to find out. You can see that they're properly scaled with one another. They would have to be, of course, to be able to fit proper figures inside. The pickup truck is a lot taller, granted, but again, like you can be able to fit these figures inside, so they are, I feel, of proper size. Let's move the DeLorean out of the way. To the future it goes. Okay, so let's have a look at the pickup truck. As you already saw at the beginning of this review, very little was not required for assembly. The main body of the truck already comes out of the packaging, as you see right here. The front grille, uh, these stickers, which somehow have moved around on me. I assure you, I didn't ply them on so loosey-goosey like this. Stickers had to be applied on the front, headlights, the lights on the front, the fog lights, I guess, and then the lights down below. Sticker had to be applied on the front lights, license plate, and then we also put some stickers on the back there as well. The Playmobil, and then the sticker down below, the, the rear license plate, which actually says McFly 85. I think that's a fun touch. 
Uh, the only other thing that really had to be assembled was the tires. Two, three, four, and then we had to put on the roll bar with the lights. You just clip on each one of the lights, and the lights actually already have, I think that I think they already had the stickers on them. They're printed on. I just had to snap them in place. The pickup truck does have features of an opening hood, so you can see the inside motor. That looks nice. And you can also flip this around to the back, and the back also opens up as well. There's a little hitch on the back that really doesn't serve much of a purpose right now. I almost even consider just leaving it off. I mean, it's it's there, but it, it really doesn't serve a purpose specifically with the pickup truck. Interesting thing, though, is that the front opens up to reveal the motor. The back opens up. There goes the Lorien. The back opens up. And yet, funny enough, the side doors don't. So it's a bit of a struggle, I have to say, to get the figures to actually sit properly inside. Well, we already knew how difficult they were to get into the DeLorean. You're having actually a lot more of a hassle trying to get them in. It helps as well to spin the steering wheel around just to make that a little bit flatter. And actually, just before we put Marty McFly in, just to show you what the interior of the car looks like. It's pretty detailed, I suppose. But we're going to go ahead and take Marty McFly, get that steering wheel facing so that you got that little, little opening at the bottom like that. It helps just to kind of get him in there. If you have the steering wheel facing the other way, then it's going to be really difficult. Believe you me, it's really going to be difficult to get him in there with the steering wheel facing the opposite way. Then we can go ahead and take Jennifer. I'm going to actually just remove the purse for the time being. Makes things a little bit more difficult to get her in there. And we're going to take Claudia Wells, Jennifer. That's the Jennifer I consider this to be. Straighten out the legs just a little bit. Get her tucked in there and then fold her down. And there you go. There's Marty McFly and Jennifer. It only fits the two figures. So if you really want to have Biff, I guess you could put Biff in the back of the truck. And providing that Marty's not going to go super fast. It does roll quite well. A nice rolling vehicle. I'm actually a bit surprised, really, that the uh, Playmobil's options available, and I guess there really isn't a lot of options available for Back to the Future stuff, that they had to kind of, well, they picked really, it just seems random things. More random, I guess, when it comes to this. I mean, again, when you were comparing it to the DeLorean, I'm just going to move the truck over a little bit one more time bring in the DeLorean. Yeah, you know, DeLorean, that makes that makes some sense. Everybody, I'm sure, who's into Back to the Future is going to want to pick up a DeLorean based from that movie. Marty's pickup truck, on the other hand, short of maybe getting the brand new figures that were exclusive to the set, I don't know how many people are going to say yes. 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 I have to pick up Marty's pickup truck. I guess as a completionist and the fact I do actually like Back to the Future to the point where I would say, okay, yeah, I would probably pick it up. And for also the fact that I would be able to review it for you guys. I don't know a casual fan that probably would be inclined to be picking up a pickup truck for Marty. It's in the movie. Yes, you get three figures from the movie. Sure. But I think more people are probably going to be focused on getting the DeLorean here than they would necessarily wanting to pick up Marty McFly's pickup truck. But that's just me. Nothing like a relaxing drive through Hill Valley, well, at least for Marty and Jennifer. Poor Biff. I don't even think they realized Biff was in, still in the back of the pickup truck. is holding on for dear life. It's okay. When he does get the sports almanac, things are going to be a lot different. Speaking of which, it would be interesting to see if Playmobil could release an alternate 80s Biff Tannen. I'm not really sure what other accessories you could throw in there. But, I mean, really, they could just release as a two-pack. Maybe a Lorraine from 85, alternate 85 Lorraine, and maybe also alternate Power Hungry Reality Biff Tannen. I think would be a nice little two-pack to release. Is everybody going to be wanting to get on board picking up a pickup truck from Back to the Future 1? Maybe not. I mean, there's the novelty in the fact that they did cover at least another vehicle than just doing another DeLorean. Because, I mean, they could have done three or four different DeLoreans with the different looks that it's had over the course of the movies. Playmobil said, you know what, you know what, we're going to do a different vehicle. And what other vehicle could we pick? I don't know. Let's just do Marty McFly's pickup truck. It looks like a nice looking pickup truck and it sits two figures fine and one struggling to stay alive in the back of the truck. So it, it, it's a nice looking vehicle. Again, I just don't think everybody is going to be saying yes. I have to pick up the pickup truck. DeLorean, yes. Pickup truck, maybe no. Maybe, maybe not everybody. Still nice work, though, on Playmobil's part, and, like I said, we do get ourselves uh, three figures instead of just the two. Certainly for your video question, because we don't do that too often in these reviews anymore, but for your video question, let me know down below in the comments section 
who do you consider the Jennifer actress from Back to the Future? Do you go with the original, the OG, Claudia Wells? Or do you go with, I feel, the funnier Elizabeth Shue? Even though Elizabeth Shue was a funnier Jennifer, I still like to consider Claudia Wells to be my Jennifer from Back to the Future. Well, not my Jennifer, but you know what I mean. So let me know down below, who do you think of is your Jennifer from the Back to the Future series? I always like reading your comments down below. And hey, now, if you are new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and keep your peepers peeled because there will, in fact, be more reviews lined up and coming your way. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.